Hey everybody, Weem here. Got some uh, updates coming to Epic Inventor pretty soon. It's currently, uh, what are we at, 7 p.m. on Sunday evening. And uh, we're looking to have 0.6.6 released tomorrow, uh, Monday at some point. And uh, again, like I said, we have a number of updates. So I thought I would take a second and uh, just kind of run through some of those and fill you in on what you can expect to see uh, when this releases. So essentially 6.6 uh, .6 is uh, bug fixes for the most part. Uh, there is one additional feature um, but f as I said for the most part it's bug fixes. We got a number of them in there. So one of the um, kind of big things about this update that is not a bug fix is the addition of the auto updater. So what's going to happen is when you download the game you're going to get the uh, the EXE for the game as well as an EXE for the updater. Now the way that works is you can run the updater and it will update the game um, but for example if you run it when you first get the download it's going to tell you it's updating but and it will run through the process of basically making you know checking all that stuff but um, you're already on the current version. Uh, the main purpose of having that uh, updater in there is that um, as you may recall, when you run Epic Inventor, there a starburst, this kind of orange starburst appears in the top right corner of the menu that says there's a new version. And uh, previously, you would click that, get taken to the uh, download section of the website where you could grab kind of the latest version and re-download it. Well, that's been changed now. So now when you click that orange uh, star up there, what's going to happen is it's going to open the auto, the, uh, auto updater for you. It's going to run it and it's going to update the game and then it will restart the game for you so we're pretty excited about that that should make things a lot easier and um, yeah that's that's something that we've thought about some people have asked about and um, force put a bunch of work into it recently to make sure that you guys would have that and we think that's going to be pretty helpful so um, again additionally everything else is bug fixes here uh, we have some performance improvements that have gone into the rendering engine for the game. So some of you who experienced some lag um, in certain cases were hoping that if that doesn't go away entirely, then uh, you at least notice the game running much better. So definitely let us know. Um, in fact, you could even leave a comment in this video and just you know after you've played it a bit and let us know. Does it seem to be running better for you? Um, and uh, obviously, if there were any kind of issues, in fact, if there's any kind of issues at all. Uh, feel free to report those. Again, we have a section on the forums for you to report bugs, so we ask that you kind of continue doing that, at least until we get a new system. We've been talking about putting together a system for bug reporting, and uh, the forums worked initially, but at this point we're getting a lot of um, a lot of the bugs in there, and it's uh, we get a lot of duplicates and everything, so we kind of want to get a uh, better system in place now that we're really coming along with the game here. So. So yeah, in uh, improvements to the rendering, uh, we've also re-enabled the game console, the window that kind of popped in behind the game. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with what that you know that is, or you hadn't seen it before, we basically run this console window in, window in the background. And um, if you had some kind of problem with the game, if it crashed, if it had, if it had any kind of problem, you could go in there and grab that text and essentially paste it to us on the forums, like in a bug post, say. Hey, I went to place a uh, workbench down and the game froze on me and I went and copied the text out of that and here it is. Blah. Just paste it in the forum. So that helps us out a lot. Sometimes you can try to describe what a problem is, but unless we see that um, the console, kind of the printout, um, it might be hard for us to narrow down. But when we have that, it makes things much easier. So um, keep that in mind if the game crashes. Maybe grab that text and let us have that. So anyway, that's back in. We actually had that in two versions ago. We took it out in the last version and found ourselves wishing we had it um, in the current version right now, 6.5. So we're bringing it back for 6.6. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, we had some issues with picking up the wrong placeables, um, so that's been resolved. We had a problem where your uh, hit points could sometimes go below zero. So that should be resolved. Um, let me see here what else we got kind of looking through the list um, clicking on a required item in the crafting window should now take you 
uh, should basically refocus the crafting window on it and then show you its requirements. So, for example, if you were looking at um, the auto crossbow and it had its four requirements, including the workbench, you could click the workbench down there and the workbench would then appear as the focus in the crafting window showing you what you need in order to make it. So we had some problems where sometimes clicking those didn't do anything or they might take you to the wrong items. It was kind of iffy. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Um, we had a um, bugs, you know, with that. So those should be cleared up. Um, so check that out. And obviously if some of those aren't synced up, let us know. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We had um, some people report that they were able to put down placeables outside of town blocks. That was something that we were actually able to duplicate, which um, means that obviously it's much easier for us to resolve. So that's been fixed. Um, let's see, what do we got? Boomerang. This is actually the last of these kind of uh, more commonly known um, bug fixes. So we had the, the uh, boomerang sound continuing after you died. So that's been resolved as well. So, yeah, those those are kind of the big um, the big updates, the big bug fixes, and of course the auto updater is kind of a big deal uh, for us, and we hope that it really helps you guys out as well. We hope you enjoy that. Uh, again, we had a lot of people asking for that. So, anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I want to share with you. We uh, we we're gonna put this update out tomorrow. Um, let's see. Again, it's Sunday evening. I should have this video up tonight. And Monday we'll have the update up, and when we put the update up, we will also be kind of filling you in on where we're at with things. We have, um, basically, we're looking at, you know, where do we need to get the game in order to basically say, this is it, this is version 1.0. And uh, obviously one of the big factors there is going to be the multiplayer, which we're um, kind of going hardcore on here in the very near future, getting that resolved. Uh, as some of, you, some of you may know, we... We essentially were working on multiplayer, and we had it in for testing, and then pretty much multiplayer went on the back burner uh, for us to kind of get into other things, but we left it in there anyway, and so it was really buggy, it's never really worked quite well, but essentially we've always kind of considered it just unfinished. And so we're looking to get that done. We got a couple other things lined up of what we would call 1.0, and we'll be sharing those with you, so give you the timeline. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you guys next time.